All right, what's good, everybody? TD Bent here. Um, I know it's been a while. It's been a good minute since I last like made a video or, or update video of what's going on. A lot has happened. Um, let's just say that 2021 had like a crazy start. Apartment got flooded. That was fun. Trying to find a new place, bigger, more, you know, roomy and cozy. So, I mean, it's a blessing, it's a positive. And then of course, you know, um, I recently got COVID as well. Glad that I was able to survive it. I was able to get through it. Um, it's no joke, that's for sure. But um, thank God that I'm alive here today to continue uh, my path and my journey to be able to present these new products that I have for you guys. So within this video, we'll be going more in depth with um, what is Scarlet Moon. Um, we'll also be announcing the launch of my new website, Ratio Universe, and the new clothing store that I have prepared for you guys. So yes, COVID, it was kicking my ass, but, but during that time, I decided to use it to you know be more creative and constructive. I was able to push out this website within the two weeks. I was able to finish a lot of the editing for Scarlet Moon. So I'm happy to announce um, the release date for the Scarlet Moon and the launch of the website in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey, hey, chef and his up on the stove and then we are the ghost. Bang, why you wanna play this game? All right, so the first thing I really wanna announce is the um, upcoming events that I have planned for this um, coming summer. Now, last year when COVID hit, I wasn't able to do any book signing events, any major book signing events. I did the one for, you know, my local GameStop, just as a startup, but I wasn't able to do any like major events, go to like any major stores or conventions. So this year, I was happy to announce that I'm able to um, book uh, three events for the summer, one in May, one in June, and one in July. So the first one I want to announce is the one coming up in May. It's the Sun Coast Comic Con. Um, I'll be presenting both books there, along with some um, clothing um, from both of my apparel line for Ratio and Scarlet Moon. The next one will be in June in Lakeland, at RP Fun Center from June 12th to June 13th. And the last convention I'll be appearing at will be the one in Tampa, the Metrocon, which is going to be um, between uh, July 23rd to the 25th. I'm definitely excited for this opportunity to be able to um, release books in person and sell them as well. I never really did any other kind of major book signing event and uh, this would be like good first step for me to be able to get that exposure that I need. So if you are able to attend to any of these Comic Con events, that'd be, I'll be glad to see you guys there. I'll be glad to introduce Scarlet Moon there since I will be selling Scarlet Moon there as well. And hopefully, you know, we'll be able to have a good turnaround. All right, so the next thing we're gonna be discussing about on agenda today is, of course, Scarlet Moon, the newest book that's gonna be coming out in the Asian universe. Scarlet Moon takes place, like I said, um, before the meteorite landed for the Ratio universe. So these characters are not related to Ratio in itself, but there are some key instances that relate to the first book. That readers, if they read the first book, they'll be able to see and connect the dots, per se. So about Scarlet Moon, the story actually will be told in three different point of views. Each chapter will be a different point of view, and the chapter headline will show which character point of view you're reading. So that way the readers are never lost at who is the one pretty much telling their part of the story. The first character I'd like to discuss will be Kenji Haruna. He is the main protagonist of the story. Um, he's around the age of 15. He's a human slash what is a new species called the Seeker. He has this unique ability to be able to see the moon shards as they shed through um, the surface of the moon and land on Earth. He's the only one that's able to see it happen. He's the only one that's able to um, see it as soon as it touches. Demons are searching for these moon shards to claim the power so they can collect all 108 shards to create their own and shape their own reality. Kenji builds a legendary katana called the Black Widow. It's part of the Nine Spider Demon Series Blades collection. Um, it was crafted by the venom of these Nine Spiders and also a alien material called Katine, which is, came from a meteorite that landed way before um, humans was able to walk around Earth. 
So in order to draw out the Black Widow's power, Kenji must call out its name. Um, each Spider Demon series sword have a different way of calling out their name to draw their power. And they're ranked, of course, from one to nine. So the Black Widow is ranked number five. With that being said, any Venom that is over number five will not be able to affect Kenji since he's the owner of the Black Widow. In reverse, any Venom that's under the number five will be able to affect him if he goes up against another person who has one of these blades. The next character I'd like to present is Asa, who happens to be a half wolf demon and a half human. She's also the one of the main three protagonists of this story. Asa, she spent most of her life in the supernatural realm, which is where all the supernatural creatures live, and she often times want to be able to experience what it's like to be a human, which is why she decides to live her teenage years in the human world. That's also where she met Kenji as well for the first time. Asa's goal is to acquire all 108 pieces of the Moon Shard so she can create her own reality and shape it to however she likes. Her main weapon of choice, of course, is Cloth and Fist. She has a heightened ability to hear and smell due to her being a half wolf. Um, she does, however, since she's a half breed, is not able to do a full wolf's transformation, only in the full moon, and she's able to transform into a wolf. The next person I'd like to introduce is Kade Chizawa. She is a human um, who with a mysterious ability and connection to the elements. She grew up with uh, Kenji, your childhood friends. Um, she's even have a certain interest in Kenji as well. She follows Kenji and helps him through his journey as he assists Asa in collecting the moon shards. So now that I just introduced all three main characters, she should be able to follow their story in the upcoming book, Scarlet Moon which I'm happy to announce will be released on April 2nd, 2021. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that down in your calendar. So that way you can even start um, pre-ordering. If you want to look online, you should be able to be able to pre-order the ebook if you'd like to do Kindle. Of course, um, this book has been self-published through me, not through a self-published company. So I am starting my own brand, of course, and everything like that. So I'm very excited for this project to be completed and I'm excited for all the hard work I put in for it. Hope you guys are able to enjoy the read. Um, of course, leave comments and you know critiques and blend that you like. Um, I like to learn from those. And just let me know how you think or what you think about the book. So the next topic I have is um, the introduction of the Rancho Universe website which I've been constructing um, while I was or sick of COVID. It took around two weeks to finalize and get it going. The Ratio Universe website is a collection of everything that I've been discussing, um, any images or any you know information as far as like the upcoming book signing events you can see there. Um, if you want to order my books online, you can order through the website as well. It'll take you straight to the link where you can pre-order uh, Scarlet Moon or order a copy of Ratio. Also, we do have um, characters, uh, profiles, and for Ratio and Scarlet Moon, we'll discuss like each character's information, their battle stats, stuff like that. And then, of course, we do have the Ratio gear that connects to our Ratio store. The store has a lot of our Ratio apparel, where it has our designs. Um, if you like shirts, masks, pants, socks, you name it, we have it. So definitely take a look at that as well. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the website. I hope you guys enjoy Scarlet Moon. Um, please let me know below in the comments what you guys think or and also you know like and share subscribe as well get that exposure out there for me until next time TV bed out